Before moving the hutch top, check to see that any glass or wood shelving has been removed and packed. Lay a moving blanket down right near the piece you're going to prepare for moving. The lighter side of the moving blanket is used, as it is the same side all furniture is wrapped, and that way it will always stay clean. In order to remove the hutch top from its base, lift and pull the base and the top forward enough to be able to tilt the top back and safely lift it off and set it down in the center of the moving blanket. Avoid sliding the piece as it will most certainly scratch or mar the bottom piece. The lighter side of the blanket is used. This is the cleanest side. This is the side most used to cover furniture. The electrical wire in this case was pulled inside and packing paper was used to wrap and secure it. The long side of the moving blanket is used to cover the front and sides of the hutch top. Enough moving blanket is left on the bottom to cover the underside. As you can see, the blanket is pulled up and squared even with the top side on either side. Tape is used and pulled tightly across and around the piece. The tape is pulled just under the lip of the hutch top. Next, the hutch is tipped and the moving blanket is nicely folded under the piece of furniture. Tape is pulled from the top, down the front and underneath, and back up to the top side. The same is done for the other side. It is tipped one more time to secure the moving blanket in the center. It is pulled down from the top, under and then right back up to meet the tape where it was started. When there is glass front, it is always good practice to put cardboard on the outside of the blanket up against the glass front. This is a reminder to those moving it and a safety feature to keep the glass front intact. Tape is used to secure the flat carton to the hutch top. So there you have it, a perfectly wrapped hutch top ready to be moved. We have a saying in the moving industry, work smarter, not harder. Use your tools whenever possible. Our crew here uses a four-wheel dolly. It's pretty simple. Tip the piece back and slide the dolly to the center and tip it back down. It is now ready to be wheeled out of the residence. Another way to get your piece of furniture onto a dolly is to put the dolly up against the side of the piece of furniture. Hold the dolly tight and tip your piece of furniture back and onto the dolly. When moving a piece of furniture, always know where the weakest part is and communicate this when using a helper to move it.